All right, we've got a barbell standing over the head press. We've got four sets of six. Bringing the bar down to the neck and pressing it overhead. The tempo is two up, pause at the top for two, and bring it down for one. No pause at the bottom. You go up for two, pause, and bring it right back down. Put that barbell down and take a 60 second break. Great job. Go for set two of the barbell over the head press. Bring that weight bar to the neck and press overhead for two. Pause at the top for two and then bring it down. You got this. We're going for six. And after that sixth one, let's set that bar down and take a 60 second break. Let's go for set three. Grab that barbell, press it overhead, and let's press for six. You got it. Bring that barbell out in front and take it to the ground. Let's take a 60 second break. Nice job. set four let's go we have that barbell standing over the head press for six at a tempo of two two one zero you got it
right, put that barbell away and meet me at the pull-up machine. All right, we're gonna do a pull-up. With the palms facing you, we have four sets of six. Let's go. We got a full minute rest. Get ready for that second set of pull-ups. Bring those palms to face you for a supinated position with the hands and pull up for six. You got it. We got a 60 second break. Good job. Let's go round three, six reps with that supinated grip. rest. Back to it, last set, six pull-ups. You can do it. Great job. Press pause and meet me at a bench press station. Lay down on your bench. Bring your hands inside of shoulder width. 
Your shoulders are gonna be back and down, squeezing together on the bench. Tense everything and drive your feet into the ground. You're gonna give me 10 reps, slowly bending the elbows and lowering that bar just below the rib cage and press it up. You got this. All right, we got a 30 second break, short and sweet. Remember, bring those hands just inside shoulder width. Shoulders are back and down, squeezing together. Tense everything and drive your feet into the ground hard. Slowly bend the elbows to draw that barbell down underneath the ribs and press it up for 10. You got this. Right, we got another 30 second break. This is your last set. Grab that barbell just inside shoulder width and give me those 10 bench presses. You got it. and meet me at the squat rack. We've got a penley row. Put some weights on end of the barbells. Stand with your feet right under the hips. Push the hips back, slight bend in the knee for a bent over position. And then you're gonna pull that barbell up into your lower chest area. We're gonna pull it back for eight. Keep your core tight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and release that barbell to the floor every time. All right, great job, we have a minute break. Penley row, rowing for eight. Keep the core tight, find that bent over position. Your knees are slightly bent, your hips are pushed back, your core is engaged and you're squeezing those shoulder blades together to pull that barbell into the lower chest. Pulling it for eight. All right, take that full minute rest.
We have eight Penley rows. You got this. Great job, put that weight away and meet me at the cable machine with a rope attachment. All right, put that rope attachment onto that cable machine and we're gonna pull the rope to neck height. Think about your elbows out to the sides, not back. And you're gonna rip the rope apart. We're going for 12. Break, relax. for that second set of rope pulls. Ripping that rope apart with that overhand grip, pulling that rope to neck height, and pushing the elbows out to the sides. Nice job, take that full minute rest. Let's go last set of rope pulls. You're gonna pull that rope towards your neck. You got this. Take the overhand grip, rip that rope apart, and pull it towards the neck, pulling the elbows out to the sides for 12. Meet me at a reverse pec deck machine. We're gonna sit facing the machine, pulling the handles apart, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We have three sets of 12. You got this.
have a 60 second break. Go for set two, pull those handles apart towards the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together for 12. take that break. All right, we got one more set. Let's go with the reverse pec deck for 12. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Slight bend in the elbow. Keep your core tight. Great job. Go find yourself an easy bar. All right, we've got a standing easy bar curl with your palms facing up. We're gonna curl the bar for 12. Keep the core tight and squeeze the biceps all the way to the top. Great job.
Let's go set two. Curl the bar for 12. Keep the core tight. Don't swing the bar up to the top. Slowly raise and slowly lower. set that bar down and take a break. Great job. last set of our easy bar curls. We're going for 12. easy bar because we're going to use it for a seated overhead tricep extension. We have three sets of eight of these tricep extensions. You're going to sit upright with the feet on the floor and the elbows vertical. You're going to lower the easy bar behind the head to stretch and lengthen the tricep. Drive the bar up overhead and do not swing it. You've got eight. got a short and sweet break 10 seconds and then we'll get ready and get into our second set if you are ready bring that bar overhead and let's do that tricep extension for eight Take that 10 second break and then we're going to finish this with our third and final set. Let's get that bar up overhead. You've got eight tricep extensions and you are done. job today.